atmospheric humidity basically it uh, refers to it uh, refers to uh, the uh, content of the uh, water vapor it refers to the content of water vapor a uh, present in a parcel of air in a parcel of air at a given a volume at a given a temperature so when you say atmospheric is very humid humidity feel hoti abhi bhi ki ha barish nahi ho rahi hai garmi hai and humid feel ho raha that is you feel lot of amount of water vapor stickiness feel hota hai great amount of water vapor you feel so what is atmospheric humidity is basically it refers to the content of water in the gaseous form in a parcel of air having a definite volume at a given a uh, temperature uh, the atmospheric humidity basically the content of water vapor anybody what is the content of water vapor in the total atmosphere what is the percentage of water vapor range kya hoti hai so if you see composition of atmosphere we have 78% of nitrogen 21% of oxygen so water vapor ka bhi content hai kitna percentage hota hai it ranges it ranges it ranges from 0 to 4% so the content of water vapor in an atmosphere ranges from 0 to 4% 0 0 to 4% 0. 0 point, 0 point obviously 0 to nahi hota literally but uski range jo theoretically mani jati hai that is 0 to 4% theek okay. hai in very humid areas you can also see that the amount of water vapor is as high as 4% so this water vapor plays a very important role it plays a very important role why because it also acts as a greenhouse gas it plays an important role in the form of condensation kya condensation hoga kya precipitation hoga in a region that is decided by the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere theek hai nothing has been taught i was i'm just referring to atmospheric humidity we all feel that we all see that amount of water vapor that is present in a given packet of air in a given parcel of air of a definite volume at a given temperature right that is humidity there are various measures of atmospheric humidity ye humidity jo aapke atmosphere mein hoti hai usko alag tarike se measures bhi kar sakte you measure absolute humidity you measure relative humidity that sir will take tomorrow theek hai so simple definition and what is the amount of water vapor in the entire atmosphere it ranges from 0 to 4% and this water vapor is very important why because whether it will rain or not whether it will be desert whether it will be humid conditions about your maintenance of the temperature of the earth because it's a greenhouse gas it does play a very important role some uh, two three terms that you know what is evaporation evaporation is a conversion of a conversion of a uh, water a uh, droplet conversion of a uh, water a uh, droplet it is a liquid uh, into water vapor into water a uh, vapor which is gas conversion of water droplet into water vapor water vapor is a gas okay and uh, what is a uh, condensation condensation is opposite of evaporation wherein wherein water vapor which is a gas is a converted to a water a droplet is converted to the water a droplet okay so water vapor is converted to your water a droplet that is your uh, condensation it's opposite of it is opposite of the evaporation ठीक है नाउ सो आई सेड कंडेंसेशन इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ इवेपोरेशन वेर द वॉटर वेपर विच इज अ गैस इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू वॉटर ड्रॉप नाउ देर आर वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ कंडेंसेशन अलग अलग तरीके अलग अलग फॉर्म होते हैं कंडेंसेशन के सो वॉट आर द फॉर्म्स ऑफ कंडेंसेशन फॉर्म्स ऑफ कंडेंसेशन एन एस ए फॉर्म्स ऑफ कंडेंसेशन डिपेंड्स ऑन टू थिंग्स वेदर द कंडेंसेशन forms of condensation uh, condensation at or very near to ground surface very near to the ground surface condensation jab ground pe 
या बहुत ग्राउंड के पास हो दैट हैज दैट इज दैट रिजल्ट इन टू ड्यू दैट रिजल्ट इन फ्रॉस्ट दैट रिजल्ट इन फॉग और मिस्ट so forms of condensation where is the condensation taking place if the condensation is taking place at or very near to the ground surface it results into forms like dew frost fog and mist the other uh, type of condensation is a uh, condensation condensation at a higher height at a higher at a higher height condensation at a higher height and this a uh, type of condensation is your clouds this type of condensation is cloud so condensation at or near the ground surface dew frost fog mist and condensation at a higher height an example is a uh, cloud right before i start off what are the conditions for dew what are the condition for frost what are the condition for fog and what are the types of fog and mist a quick image you yeah do so on the leaves in the cold night where there is water vapor has converted into water droplet so very cold night the water droplet has converted tip tip barsa pani nahi hai theek hai please uh, here that was your dew now what is frost similar like to dew dew is water droplet right it is liquid but frost is ice so water vapor is directly converting into ice because the condensation takes place below the freezing point so freezing point ke niche ho jata hai isliye water vapor is directly converting into ice this is the of uh, image of frost uh, this is mist and this is fog there is difference between mist and fog mist bahut hi chote microscopic particles hote water droplet ke bahut chote chote droplets that is mist and fog is comparatively larger water droplets so this is mist that you generally see in movies and this is fog जो हाईवे पे दिखता है विंटर नाइट ठीक है सो मिस्ट एंड दी फॉग दीज आर द फॉर्म्स ऑफ कंडेंसेशन देन वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फॉग वी विल सी दैट लेटर सो फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ कंडेंसेशन इज ड्यू फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ कंडेंसेशन ड्यू ड्यू सो बेसिकली इट रेफर्स टू इट रेफर्स टू अ डायरेक्ट डिपोजिशन डायरेक्ट डिपोजिशन of a water a vapor into a water a droplet direct deposition of water vapor in the form of in the form of water droplet in a, the form of a, a water a droplet here this is the surface you have a very a cold winter night now this surface becomes very cold and therefore the air above the surface also becomes cool as the air becomes cool the water vapor the air is not able to hold that water vapor so as the air is not able to hold that water vapor or whatever either the grass or the plant the air that is not able to hold the water vapor uh, deposits the water droplet here so there is this water a droplet so air cold and therefore unable to hold the uh, water vapor and it deposits this water vapor in a form in form of water droplet in the form of water uh, droplet where on these surface objects on the uh, surface objects air ke paas jitna water vapor tha ये सरफेस के ऑब्जेक्ट्स चाहे वो सॉइल हो चाहे वो प्लांट हो चाहे वो लीव हो उस पर डिपोजिट कर देगी बिकॉज एयर इज नॉट एबल टू होल्ड दैट वाटर वेपर सो एयर विल डिपोजिट दैट वाटर वेपर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाटर ड्रॉपलेट ऑन दी सरफेस ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक प्लांट्स लीव एक्सेट्रा ओके सो वट आई एम राइटिंग इज दिस इज द सर्फेस द सर्फेस इज कोल्ड द एयर अब द सर्फेस ऑल्सो बिकम्स कोल्ड एंड इट इज अनएबल टू होल्ड द वाटर वेपर एंड डिपोजिट्स द वाटर वेपर in the form of water droplets on the surface objects like grass plants trees etc right so here that is the what is the important thing in dew is in dew the uh, condensation a uh, condensation is uh, taking place is uh, taking place above the freezing point above the a uh, freezing point so water freeze nahi ho raha water is not converting into ice 
Why? Because the conversion of water vapor is above the freezing point. So, above the freezing point, this is important condition. And this is what separates the dew from frost. In frost, the condensation takes place below the freezing point. Okay. Moving on. So, this is your uh, dew uh, where the water, the air was unable to hold the water vapor and the water vapor deposited in the form of water droplet on leaves, trees, etc. Now, frost. The second uh, type of condensation is frost. Right? In a frost, you can, achha, sir has taught you temperature inversion. Right? You know the conditions for temperature inversion. Cold winter night. A uh, cloudless sky, right? Calm air. These are the same conditions for dew also. So dew can be always sub same conditions only. The formation for the dew would be you have a cold winter night, a cloudless sky, calm air. Okay, that's the same condition for temperature inversion as well as your uh, dew. Okay. Now the second one, yes, the second one is the uh, frost. For, for frost, here the condensation, a uh, transformation of water vapor. A transformation of the uh, water vapor uh, directly into directly into a solid form. There is transformation of the water vapor uh, directly into the solid form at the ground surface. At the ground surface, there is conversion of the water vapor directly into solid form at the uh, ground surface. Uh, the condensation occurs at a temperature occurs at a temperature which is below the freezing point so ye bhi plant pe grass pe solid uh, soil pe hoga theek hai but yahan pe water vapor directly ice mein ban gaya water vapor is directly converted into the solid form why because uh, temperature is below the freezing point. So, if I say in an area where there is minus 10 degrees Celsius, okay, water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. So, the area ka temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius. Or the water vapor, jo air pe hai, that will directly convert into ice because condensation is taking place below the freezing point. So, these are the two types of condensation. One is uh, the dew, the other is the frost, which is happening where? It is happening at the ground. At the objects like plant, leaves, grass, etc. Iske alawa jo do type of condensation hai, uh, that is the uh, fog. Fog and mist. Uh, fog and mist, wo, jo aapke camphor hote hai, camphor sublimates. Right? So, fog and mist. What is the difference? Now, I said that your dew and frost, they were at the surface. Fog and mist jo hote hai, they are little higher to the surface. Like, for example, if this is my surface, here, air is never pure, air has impurities, air would have uh, salt particles, dust particles, smoke, soot. So, your air has this particles, okay. So this is air, it has uh, dust particles, it has smoke, it has soot. Jab condensation is dust particles, salt particles pe hoga, yani ground pe nahi ho raha ground ke upar jo air hai us pe jo impurities hai dust particles salt particle is pe jab condensation ho jayega wherein the water vapor has converted into water droplet at these things right that results into the formation of fog and your mist so where is mist where is fog your suspended particles suspended water droplets where have this condensed they have condensed into dust particles smoke and your soot or etc where they have condensed this is called as a condensation nuclei we call them as a condensation a nuclei. Okay. So, I am just explaining fog and mist. I will make you write everything. So, what this is what is happening in fog and mist. So, this is the ground surface. You have air here. In the air, there are impurities. Here, water vapor is impurities. Mein condense hota hai. Ye water vapor, water droplet mein ban jata hai is impurities. Pe. Or is suspended water droplets. This is called fog or mist. Ke. This is a spot of fog and mist, suspended water droplets in the air. What is the difference between fog and mist? Mist is small, very small microscopic water particles, whereas fog is comparatively larger. So, we can see fog, fog is visible, whereas mist is not as 
visible so please write about the uh, fog and the mist here uh, the uh, condensation of the uh, water vapor into water droplet on a condensation nuclei on the uh, condensation nuclei like dust particles smoke etc so a uh, condensation of water vapor or conversion of water vapor into water droplet into condensation nuclei like this 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 are uh, suspended in the air suspended in the air therefore a uh, fog and mist fog and mist are suspended what water droplet are suspended water fog and mist are nothing but a suspended water uh, droplets in the air in the air and therefore uh, they reduce visibility they reduce uh, visibility they are suspended water droplets in the air and they are reducing the visibility right yes this condensation nuclei is also called as hygroscopic nuclei isko hum hygroscopic nuclei bhi kehte hygro means water hygroscopic nuclei why are they called as hygroscopic nuclei because they attract water because they attract water hygro h y g r o hygro because they attract water so these fog and mist are nothing but suspended water droplets in the air and therefore they reduce visibility you can also write this the difference between fog and mist the uh, difference uh, between a uh, fog and mist is uh, with respect to the uh, size of the water droplets is with respect to the size of the water droplets. in mist the uh, water droplets the uh, water droplets are microscopic in nature that is a very very small as compared to fog they are very very small as compared to a uh, fog means the water droplets are very very small okay now we've done the types of condensation dew frost fog and mist abhi fog kaise bante hain yes i said that difference between fog and mist is with respect to the size of water droplet in mist the water droplets are microscopic that is they are very very small as compared to fog and one thing also you can write is uh, mist is not not visible so then it is not visible whereas fog is visible okay